how to disable and enable a respawn point in Arma 3. In this tutorial, we are going to take a look at how to set up respawn points in Arma 3 that gets disabled if there is enemies in the vicinity of that spawn point. Additionally, we will discuss how to activate a respawn point only when allies are nearby. For the best experience with this, one should enable the menu position option for respawning. Without this, players are just going to respawn randomly on the different available points. With this enabled, players can choose their respawn location, making the capture or loss of a point more impactful. This setting can be enabled through the multiplayer attributes in the Arma 3 editor or in the description ext file, and as I usually say, if you don't have a file, just create it by adding the following code, respawn templates equal menu position. Or if you already have a respawn template, just drop menu position inside it. Now, if players respawn, and if there is a respawn point for them, they will be available to choose where they want to respawn. With that done, we can start looking at how to disable a respawn point. Here, I want to use markers. Ordinary to make a marker a respawn point, we just need to name it respawn in the variable name. Nothing more, really. But since we are using the spawn selection mode, we need to define its side. To do that, we will add a suffix to the end of the variable name. The suffix we can use are underscore west, underscore east, underscore guerrilla, and underscore civilian. So if it's say west, blue 4 will get the respawn. East, red 4 will get the respawn. Guerrilla, green 4 will get the respawn. And civilian, the civilian side will get the respawn. If you want to add more respawn points, just add underscore and the number after the respawn or suffix. Now place down a marker. Empty are great because they are invisible in-game, but you can choose to use any kind of markers you want. Here, I'm going to choose an empty marker. Then I'm going to give this spawn the variable name respawn underscore west underscore one. So this respawn point is going to be a respawn point specific for blue four. Now set down a trigger. Set the trigger to be activated when op four is in the area. Configure the trigger to be server only and repeating. I would also recommend adding a timeout maybe around 10 seconds. You can have a longer timeout or a shorter. In the on activation field of the trigger, we are going to use this code. Delete marker, marker. Delete marker will delete the marker named in marker. A marker is where you place the variable name for the marker you want to delete. So in our field, the code is going to look like this. Delete marker. Respawn underscore west underscore one. Respawn underscore west underscore one is the marker we want to delete. Once OP4 is inside the trigger area, our marker will be deleted. The problem is that it's going to stay deleted, so now we need it to return after the enemy are gone. To do that, we are going to use the field on the activation. And in that field, we are going to use this code, create marker, name, position, channel, creator. Create marker is the command to create a marker. Name is a string variable where you specify the name of the marker. Setting a variable name makes it easier to call this marker in later scripts. Position refers to the location where the marker will be placed. This can be an array or an object, and you can also use position commands to obtain a specific position. Channel is set to the default value of minus one or none which allows you to specify the channel where the marker will be placed. However, I recommend leaving this field empty. Creator is set to the default value of object null. This variable allows you to specify who created the marker. Along with the channel, this can make the marker visible only to players in the specified channel. But as with the channel, I recommend not filling this in. So our code will look like this, create marker, 
respawn underscore west underscore one this trigger. The create marker command would create a marker named respawn underscore west underscore one at the trigger's position. Therefore, I recommend setting the trigger's position to match the position of the marker we placed it initially. And now, if the OP4 units inside the trigger area leaves, our marker will be created. This means that you now have a respawn point that will be disabled if any OP4 units are nearby and enabled when they leave or are removed from the area. Now, to enable a respawn when players are nearby and disable it when players are no longer in the vicinity, we will use the same setup but reversed. First, place a trigger at the location where you want the respawn point to be set. This is where you want players to respawn. Next, configure the trigger to activate when blue for units or players are within the area. Set the trigger to server only and enable repetition. I would also recommend adding a timeout, maybe around 10 seconds. You can have a longer timeout or a shorter. In the own activation field, Drop the create marker code we used earlier. Here I'm modifying it with replacing the number 1 with 2. So it should look like this. Similarly, in the on deactivation field, use the delete marker code we used before, again replacing 1 with 2. So it's going to look like this. With this configuration, when friendlies enter this zone, a respawn point will be activated. It will be deactivated when no one is left in the area. I recommend setting up a base respawn point when using this. This way, if the respawn points are deactivated, players will still have a fallback spawn. And that's it. I hope you now understand how to use a marker as a respawn point, and how to delete a marker and create one through commands. Thank you for watching. If you have questions or want more information, feel free to leave a comment about it.